Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video with um, sort of overview on current state of SEO, specifically local SEO. So I usually don't really make videos like this, but um, this has been going for some time. So I thought, you know, I'm, 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 this is something that does affect me. Um, I want to share my experience, right? And, and, and more importantly, my thought process behind it this time. So if you guys have been in the local space, um, you guys would know that things have been quite turbulent for some time now. Um, it started like I would say, what was it like June, July last year when it started to, when it just started to get like, started breaking down. By the end of last year, it was just like, you know, Google wiped the floor with a lot of, lots of types of um, lead generation methods, um, um, you know, getting GMDs and all that kind of stuff. And even up until now, they're still going for it. Um, recently, today, you know, uh, a friend of mine brought it to my attention and, and normally, like I try not to go into these forums too much unless like, you know, let's say I have a question that I want a quick answer for. Um, but I'm going into some of the forums and, and you know, it's a very popular one um, in the GMB space especially. And I see that now they're targeting like manager accounts. Meaning if you have, you know, like, 50 listings, let's say that you're managing as an, um, uh, as an agency or anybody, right? And like, like lead gen listings, any kind of mistake you could be doing for one listing can be affecting the other or so that I'm concluding, right? It's, it's really hard to know exactly what is the metric they're going for without, um, you know, um, uh, until we kind of like really um, separate it from everything else and identify, which, which most of the times you can't know um, while it's happening. It takes some time. But all things being said, um, I wanted to basically kind of share my opinion of like, you know, how to deal with these kind of times, right? So last year when it happened, it kind of like honestly shut me down a bit, right? It didn't make me um, so that where I was like, oh my God, you know, it's over and I can't grow my agency anymore, where like a lot of people kind of, you know, go towards. Um, I know that I'm working with real businesses, no matter what happens, like how messed up will Google take it? Right? Like they can't really make it where a normal, legit, real business can't be on Google. That would be messed up. That defeats the whole purpose, right? They, they do mess up. While they're trying to get the um, fake listings out of the way, they do hit like real businesses here and there. And then, you know, shit does crumble. And um, some of my clients got hit and, and you, know, uh, uh, you know, we have to like deal with it. Um, even right now, as I'm making this video, I got a couple of people who I had to like pause their payment because their listing's not coming in. It's real valid businesses. While all this turmoil happened, but it will come through, I'm pretty sure over the next couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, normal, legit businesses that can, especially, you know, if, if we go forth with showing the license and whatnot, storefront pictures, all, all that stuff, it'll be fine. But how do you deal with it in the time being? Because how I see it is that it just takes not just the time, the energy, I mean, not just the energy and focus away from, from where you want to go. Like, let's say the goal should be to sell, right? For most, like if you're in my course, if you're, um, um, you know, looking at this right now, the mass, vast majority of us should be focused on sales and growing our business, doing everything we can to grow. This kind of stuff, not only it focuses your energy outwards because, you know, you're, you're having to focus on this to deal with it, but then the time is lost. This is one thing that really does, I, I, I take it very seriously now, right? Last year, I, I, it was fine, I was taking a step back. It's my first time seeing how hard Google goes, you know, like they don't give a fuck when they go to get things out. But this time, similar things are happening, you know, clients are having some trouble. What do you do? Do you lay back a bit and, you know, like just kind of chill out and make sure everything's okay, report to clients what's going on? How do you really go about this so you can basically be in a position where, you know, um, to handle it properly? And this is what I came down to. Simple three steps. Number one, educate your clients fully. Like be 100% honest with your clients. If you're a lead gen, like if you're doing lead gen and you're fake listing, then, then my, my thing is that you're probably gone. Like you probably got hit and you're wiped out and you're gonna have to start over. If you still wanna be in lead gen, start over with some you know, uh, other fashion of getting listings, probably go the proper way, uh, maybe Craigslist or something like that. That's lead gen. 
If your clients, more than likely, uh, not, not much is happening to you. You didn't get hit too much. Like out of what? I think like 40, uh, 38, 40 accounts, we got four that got hit, right? So it's literally like 10%. So it's not that big of a deal, but it can affect you mentally. Like, you know, these four is becoming a problem, right? Like I feel, I, I, I it's, it's, like, I'm not gonna lie, this, this is a problem, right? Like four of our clients, like listings got hit, they're legit businesses. Or some of them are waiting for their listings not coming in. It's, it's a problem, right? I have to pause the payment, I have to work with them. I have to, um, um, you know, call Google, make sure things are moving forward. Um, um, you know, if, if, if it's something you have to show with their, um, uh, getting their reinstated, we have to make sure that those are, you know, passed on properly. We're gonna get it back, but this becomes a problem. So first and foremost is educating your clients. These forms, you know, wherever form, I mean, if you go to the popular forms, you'll see like, you know, people talking about it, take screenshots of these forms. What's exactly going on? How much people are getting hit and getting involved in getting their things suspended? What number one advantage for us client agencies is that we're dealing with real businesses. We're not talking about our large Legion site that got wiped out overnight, right? We're, we're talking about real businesses. So by educating your client and being fully honest, like, hey, look, this is what's going on, Google is going hard, and a lot of people, thousands of people are facing this, we happen to get hit. We happen to happen like this, this is the process, procedure that's next. Get me a picture of your storefront, a license of your business, stuff like that, and get that passed through, help them through the process, and, and that's the best you can do. Get in the articles, you know, look at search engine land, whatever, get, get a few more articles, get some public third-party verification, that's gonna help them understand the process. Because if you don't do that, and if you just like, kind of like wait, like, okay, they got hit, um, I think I can fix this and get them reinstated before they figure out. Once they do figure out, like, you know, let's say they feel the call, call volume drop, or, you know, they're checking their stuff, they see that they're not there. Guess what's gonna look like? It's gonna look like you messed up, right? And it's all, it also might look like they might think that it's something that completely you did and they could fix it by going to another SEO. Right? You could literally lose a client right then and there because of shit like this. So as soon as you see it happens, I mean, at this point, you should just check it daily <laughs> with, with your overall GMBs, make sure like everything's like, you know, um, uh, 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 active and live, right? We have like good amount of listings. Like I think it just passed a hundred because there's a lot of listings that's, you know, multiple locations. Um, I just gotta see like which, like, you know, all of them are live and stuff. And I just check that. If something happened, reach out to the client right away. Send them an email, give them a call, and that's the first thing that I recommend doing. Number two, once that is done, once that is set in place, your clients are fine, they understand, they know the truth, what's going on. Get back to sales. This is gonna sound even more crazy because this is the time when people are the most unsure. Not only unsure about um, you know, what to do and going on, but I've seen this, people get unsure about their entire venture. I know this, I hear, see this all the time, and I even feel it sometimes, to be honest. I feel like, oh my God, like, um, it, like you know, is this, is this really viable? Um, all these things are happening, it's so turbulent. Um, is, it, is it gonna be fine? If you're dealing with clients, you're growing an agency, Remember, it can't really go to a point where Google's like, no local businesses are allowed in our, <laughs> in, our, in, our, in, our, in our whole directory, in our whole search engine. They want the real businesses. It's when they are cracking down and trying to get the side stuff out of the way, they, they, they set something, some measures that fuck it up for a lot of uh, our real ones at the same time. Keep that in your mind, be honest with your clients, and get back to sales. Get back to growing your business. Right now this came up and I remembered it because I called it, I said it in my video for, for getting goals. Something, some unforeseen thing is gonna come and present itself in such a new way and it's gonna direct me away from growing. Direct me away from what I know I wanna do like it did last year. This is it, this is the exact type of shit. I don't know why the camera reset, ruined the moment for me there. But guys, this is the type of stuff. 
when, when you're in the moment, it seems like the most serious thing in the world. Oh my God, it's turbulent. Things are fluctuating. A couple of our clients are not getting the listings, the valid address. Some of them got hit with, and got suspended. They've been around for a decade. All this kind of stuff is coming and making you feel like, oh my God, like this is, this is not viable. It's not viable. My thing is just get back to sales. That's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, it's like 9 p.m. right now. My day is supposed to come to an end. I'm going to spend the next couple hours today and just think about and meditate on exactly who are the strongest people, the hottest leads across my pipeline, people I've pitched or people who promised to, I mean, I promised, uh, you know, booked an appointment, never showed up in the last couple of months. I'm going to reel them in and go extra hard to prove it to myself one more time that during these kind of moments when there's blood on the streets, that's when you go forth. That's when you push the lever. It's literally the strongest thing you can do for yourself. Peace.